Well, at least they're finally admitting that they want Xbox to go away. They want Xbox to fail. You know, it's no surprise that for years, PlayStation guys have been saying, we want Xbox to do better. I want Xbox to compete. I want Xbox to give us games. But at the same time, these guys want Xbox to go away. I mean, I get it. You're a PlayStation fan. You want Xbox to go away because Xbox is your the biggest threat to PlayStation. But now, after years of asking Xbox to be better, years of asking Xbox to be the behemoth that they are, years of asking Xbox to act like a trillion dollar company, Xbox is doing those things. And now the truth is coming out. These PlayStation fanboys, they don't like it. They don't like that Xbox is out there competing or buying studios or buying publishers. They said they want Xbox to act like the trillion dollar company that they are, but when they're acting like the trillion dollar company and spending and using some of their resources, they don't like it. They switched it to, well, we didn't want y'all to compete like that, or it's not fair what you guys are doing. And then the, we you know we have these fake guys that are kind of like, Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my God. And you know and I know that it hurts these guys. <laughs> it's something that it's something that they didn't want. They act like they wanted it, but they didn't really want this. Now, I'm not a fan of any of these pony podcasts, but I appreciate some of the Xbox brothers in this particular case, Astro Cyborg, for pulling this clip from Sartius uh, podcast where a PlayStation fanboy told the truth about how he really feels about Xbox. <laughs> Check this out. Absolutely trying to go after that 75% and say, hey guys, listen, exactly. we're not making yeah. games for that piece of shit anymore. We did that for too long. If you want to play Xbox games, you can get a digital version. Your cloud transfers over all of your, and they'll market it. They'll say that it's the best thing for gamers because they don't lose any of their stuff. It's all cloud transfers. We care about generations. We just don't give a shit about good games. But here you go. Have it. And It'll be like, the stupid, yeah. The stupid Xbox people are going to buy it because they're dumb. Like, I, you know, I have pulled so many punches over the past several months being, like, the guy who's like, I just want them to be good. Now I just want them to go away. Like, there's this, now I just want them to go away. Like, this. now I just want them to go away. Like, this. now I just want them to go away. Like, this. now I just want them to go away. Like, this. So, yeah, he put it right there. I want them to go away. He admitted that he was a guy that used to say, do better, or I want them to be good. But in reality, he wants them to go away. They don't want competition. They said they wanted competition. They do not want competition. And last generation was a breeze for PlayStation fanboys. Xbox had a lot of self-inflicted wounds. They had a lot of stumbles. But now they're doing things great, man. And these guys, they, they, their reaction is, is, is ridiculous. Their reactions is ridiculous. They beg for the FTC to block the deal. When, when the CMA blocked the ABK deal, oh my God, Twitter was rough for Xbox guys that day and PlayStation fanboys ran rampant. <clears throat> I was having PlayStation guys in my comment section of old videos like, yeah, this didn't age well, Dirt. Look what's happening now, Dirt. But, of course, with the recent news <laughs> that the CMA will most likely uh, approve the deal to go through, the ABK deal to go through, listen, you guys are looking pretty bad out there. You guys are losing it. So what you want us to do? You want us to say, it's okay, we forgive all of the bullshit you said to us in the past. No, it's not that type of party, sir. Look at yourself. You guys are in the position that you put yourself in. Talking all this shit for years and now Xbox is doing what you asked. But clearly, you guys weren't being genuine. At least this pony from Saltius Gaming Show, he finally admitted what all of us thought. He finally came out there and said, you know what? I want them to go away. I want Phil Spencer to go away. When those guys said fire Phil Spencer and bring back Don Matrick, 
clearly they are saying they want Xbox to go away because remember what happened when Don Matrick was the head of Xbox. Xbox damn near went away. Microsoft was about to pull the plug on the Xbox brand because of Don Matrick's decisions. So when they say fire Phil Spencer, bring back Don Matrick, that's that's you guys saying right there you don't want Xbox around. But it's okay, I get it. If you guys want PlayStation to have a monopoly, that's cool. I get it. Um, you know, you guys are PlayStation fans. I never said I want PlayStation. That, you know, as an Xbox fan, I never said I want PlayStation to go away or leave because I like some of PlayStation games and I love what the PlayStation brand has done for the community, for the gaming community. But some of these guys act like Xbox did nothing for the gaming community, nothing at all. Some of these guys act like uh, gamer score trophies wasn't something that Xbox introduced in the Xbox 360 generation. Some of these guys act like online gaming isn't, isn't something that Xbox perfected in the original Xbox generation. Yes, I know Dreamcast tried it, but it was too early and they did it through DSL and that was not the way to go through your phone lines. So Xbox is a great thing these guys finally admitting that they don't want xbox around anymore but guess what you're not going to get your wish you are not going to get your wish xbox is here to stay phil spencer is here to stay until he retires so playstation fanboys i'm sorry to let you guys know this but you have to deal with it i'm sure you'll get over it just hold your loved one tell them you love them uh, you know you don't have to explain why you're crying so much but just tell them that you're in a tough place, but things will hopefully get better one of these days. Maybe after Spider-Man 2, PlayStation will have another big showcase like you guys said they were going to have. Maybe Baby Steps will be a smash hit. I don't know. But, yeah. I just wanted to come on here and talk a little shit about this clip that I saw <laughs> from Salty's Gaming Podcast. Listen, I'm about to get out of here, but PlayStation guys are losing their mind, man. <laughs> this ABK deal... Bethesda, Starfield, everything that's going on right now is hurting these guys. And to be honest, PlayStation themselves is not doing these PlayStation fanboys any favors. Yes, they're betting on Star uh, I'm sorry, Spider-Man 2 to be the hit that they expect it to be. And I'm sure Spider-Man 2 will do well. But after that, their roadmap is looking sparse. And PlayStation guys know it. They don't want to admit it, but they know it. And this is what's going on. But look, y'all, time for me to get up out of here. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel, you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. All right, everybody, peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>